be making basics. What's good YouTube, Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video is gonna be a super cool trick that you can use to make any stock drum sound smack in Logic Pro 10. That's right, we're gonna be going over this in this video. Make sure you smash the like button, okay? If you don't smash the like button, I can't keep on dropping these tips and these secrets, okay? Smash that like button for me. But uh, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna be showing you how to make any stock drum sound smack in Logic Pro 10. Now to demonstrate this, we're actually gonna be going to Ultra Beat, okay? So just click on Software uh, Instrument, then under Instrument, you're gonna scroll down till you see Ultra Beat Drum Machine Stereo, and then push Create. All right, now this is Ultra Beat. It has some stock drum sounds in here. This tip that I'm gonna be showing you can be used with any drum sounds, but we're just gonna use these for now. I'm gonna pull up musical typing, and this is gonna allow me to just basically use uh, my, my MacBook Pro as a drum machine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just play the kick. If you really listen to it, that's nowhere near what it should be sounding like. And that's a clap okay so let me just demonstrate i'm going to go ahead and lay down a basic pattern and then uh, i'll show you what to do to make it smack all right and it's you know something simple we're just demonstrating this thing here and i'm just going to click that now, what I'll do is, as well is I'll go ahead and push Command D to double this, and we'll separate these uh, instrument sounds. So I'll just click right here on this clap, and I'll get rid of that. And so this one is going to be our kick, and then I'm going to, you know, get rid of the kick right here, and then now we have our clap, right? So or we could have done it vice versa. It doesn't matter, man. Um, at the end of the day, we got our our stock sounds here. Listen how thin those sounds sound. Okay, let's let's go with the clap first. Now the first thing you gotta do in order to make any stock drum sound smack is you gotta double and layer the track. Okay, so basically push Command D and then just hold up Option, drag this clap down like that, and now I want you to listen to the clap. Little bit better, right? It's it's, it's not perfect, but it's a little better compared to this. Now, that's not the only thing I'm gonna do here. We're gonna just turn up one of them a little bit more, and then I'm just gonna go over here, highlight this, and then right click. And after that, we're gonna go to this option called Bounce in Place, and that's gonna turn this into a wave file. So now, we have this going on. Okay, and it might still sound like they don't smack, but if you listen to the first one, it does, it smacks way harder. All right, now let's go ahead and do it with the kick. Basically, Command D, hold down Option, and we're gonna drag this down. All right, bounce it in place, and now this is gonna sound a whole lot stronger than what it usually sounds. Alright, so just so you can see the difference, right? I just gotta show you the difference of this. Unmute this by pushing Control M. So we're gonna just A B it. So this is this is what it sounded like before. And this is what it sounds like now. And pretty much if you wanted to smack any harder than that you know, you would just keep on repeating the process. So like, all right, let's say this kick, let's double it three or four times. Boom, boom, boom. Just held down option. And then now I can come over here and if I want to, I can actually come in and EQ each of these as well. So I can maybe boost some of the low end frequency right there. I can come on this one and maybe boost a little bit of the mids. Okay. Don't have to do too much. You know, you can come over in this one and we can cut out all the lows 
um, excuse me, cut out all of those and then boost like maybe a little some of these higher ones. Let's see how that sounds. Maybe cut out all of the highs on this one. You can come over here and throw a compressor on one of them if you wanted to. Bounce it in place. Now you have a kick that sounds a whole lot stronger. All right, now you got to pick some better drum sounds. We could do this with another, like another whole nother example here. Um, they have some better drum loops and sounds or whatever. Let's let's do like an Apple loop and see how it sounds that way. So now this time we're just gonna do an audio track and we're just gonna go over here to our loops. All right. And you can actually go and search by instrument. We can do all drums. You can even search for like hip hop. Okay. All right, so let's say that one. It sounds dope already, but it's not smacking like it needs to. So. Double it, pushing Command D, hold down Option, drag this on down like this. And you notice how it has that little bit of uh, stereo out. We're gonna, um, or peaking right here, we'll fix that when we do this. So we'll just highlight it, right click, bounce in place. And now listen. If, you, if it's peaking like that, it's all good. Come to the Gain tool, turn it down just a little bit. And then just bounce the place one more time. Now, just to demonstrate this, um, we'll bring back in the original one and we'll do a side by side comparison. This is the original. This is the new one. Listen, y'all, it's a simple tip, but I hope it helped you out. If it did, make sure you smash that like button if you haven't already. Also, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. We're coming back to back with bangers like this, y'all. This is a golden tip, especially if you use it smartly. All right. Also, make sure you head over to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. Now, we do have hundreds of videos you can watch on my YouTube channel, but on beatmakingbasics.com, I have some targeted and super, uh, you know, in-depth content. Um, packaged together in courses and I also have like some kits on there and some other different ways for you to learn and grow as a producer head over to beatmakingbasis.com and I will see you in the next video we're out